Hello, welcome to the Palm Agent Training Series. In this video, we're going to cover the new feature, Homelink. Uh, Homelink works on the buyer's estimate program, also works on our seller's net sheet, uh, and that's what I'm going to cover here today, the seller's net sheet. Uh, you can see I'm using an app called University Agent One. That is uh, one of our great title sponsors here in Texas. Your app may be named something different. Your numbers are probably going to look a little bit different, so if you're following along, uh, just know that the numbers probably will vary just a little bit. Um, and that's a good thing because that means it's specific custom for your area. Um, the first thing I'm going to do here on the seller's net sheet uh, using Homelink is put in a sales price. I'm going to put in $675,000. That may be a lot in your area. It may not be very much in your area. I'm just going to try to find something here in the middle just for this um, little explanation. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is put in an address. You see here at the top it says add address and has a little location arrow. I'm going to tap on that and then tap in the field. You can see that it saves the uh, last addresses that I've put in here, or we can start typing. Oh, there we go. And it starts filling in addresses as we go. So when it finds the one, or when you find the one that you want, you can just tap on it. It's gonna think for a second. It's pulling, county, or pulling information from the county records, and it's gonna give us last year's taxes, and also the, an estimation of the current loan balance. Last year's taxes, like I said, are pulled from uh, county records and those should be pretty accurate. Um, it depends. Sometimes um, it pulls last year's taxes. If not everything is up to date with the county records, it may pull the year before, uh, but usually those are pretty um, timely, uh, so it should be last year's taxes. And also the current loan balance. We use the last loan on record, uh, so if there's a second or a HELOC or anything kind of like that, that current loan balance may not be uh, exactly what you're looking for. And if that's the case, just uncheck it and it'll just use the taxes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and click loan balance. So we'll pull both of these things. So when I hit done, it's going to automatically put the property taxes in there and the loan balance. So we automatically go from not knowing the taxes and the loan balance to having a good idea of what those are for our estimation or for our estimate. Um, now, we've just put in the sales price, we'll leave broker fee, there's all sorts of things. I can say they got a rate of 5.5 or whatever we like to do. Now, closing date, let's say they're going to close sometime in mid-July, okay? So I just put in a couple of things, hit compute, and it's going to tell me, okay, your net at close is going to be about $255,149. That's the sales price, the balance, the prorated taxes that they owe. We take those yearly taxes and we prorate them based on the closing date. Your proration in your areas is probably gonna be different. They're different all over this, the country. And it's a good thing uh, that we have this because we're gonna take those prorations, however it works, and use the closing date and put that in for you. In this case, it's almost $5,000 that they're gonna have it do at closing. Uh, we have the loan balance like we talked about. And then the closing costs, which are again, are custom for your area, which gives us the net at close of around $255,149. Uh, you can, again, hit detailed closing costs and see what all the fees are. And then if we wanna see full report, we can send that, I'm gonna reload the page here. So now we can see uh, what we can send out to our users, or our clients, excuse me. Go through here, find the one we want, and we can email it, download it as a PDF print, share it on social, we can save it, um, all sorts of fun stuff. Um, but main takeaway from here is we use the address, type it in, and it's gonna give us the yearly taxes and the loan balance. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos on the Palm Region Training Series.